very warm welcome everyone where I am going to be comparing the old dive coaster with the new dive coaster in a video I am recording at 1am. Yeah. Before this video starts, 64% of you guys who are watching my videos are not actually subscribed, so please go ahead. It's free. Go ahead and subscribe. Okay, so first of all, what we're going to do, the thing is, the great thing about dive coasters, you can make it the most simple possible. And I'm feeling lazy. So this is actually going to be very, very simple. So of course, as normal, we're going to start with the old dive coaster. As you can clearly see, it sucks. I think it's just because of the new updates. You're going to be used to the new one already, and no matter what comes after that, you're going to think the old one sucks. The new, the new one could be worse, and you'll still think the old one sucks more. I don't like that. We're going to start again. Okay, that's more better. Simple chain lift up. We'll stop around about here. Yep, yeah, that is fine. And then we're literally going to be, do this bit out of the basic editor, to be honest, because what else are you supposed to do? Take the chain lift off. We're going to more pieces. Hold break before drop, of course. And basically all we're going to do is just a nice little drop straight down. That is not even vertical, but Eh, we move. Yeah, this sucks already. I'm honestly so happy. Praise the Lord. Dennis finally listened to us. We got a brand new beautiful dive coaster, which everyone adores already. Very simple as that. So we just go like this. Yeah, that's fine. We'll connect it there. And then what we're going to do is going to go back and we'll connect it again. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then maybe what we can do is we can go back to the basic editor, notice the blazer breaks down, and drop again. Simple as that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go up like this, because you have to include some banking. Throughout this whole ride, there's literally zero banking. So, we've got to do, we've got to do better than that. For a 1am coaster, this is actually not as terrible as I actually expected. So we'll just go around like this, and then we will make it into a break run. Lovely. Down, 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 down. It won't let me go to the other stupid thing. Ugh. And what we'll do is we'll go one more station. I don't like that. We'll start again. It won't let me go back to the stupid thing. Dennis, please help me out for God's sake. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll go like this and we'll put two more stations down and then what we can do is we'll go like that. Maybe right about there. Oh, maybe no. Maybe there. And then we'll go up like this. And now we'll put the brakes down. Lovely. And of course, what we're going to do is we're going to have a little bit of a test. I think it's because I've seen the new cars now, but that's disgusting. So what we're going to do is we're going to inspect the ride, make sure it is all okay, and it's actually going to make a full circuit because I don't trust anything of it because it's old. You know, it's old school. Definitely can't trust it. Okay, and it stops very early. Bloody hell! There it goes down. No problem. Stops up there, fine by me, and back down. Whee! Lovely, lovely jubbly. And now we move on to the beautiful thing. God, is it two things high? I didn't even know that. <laughs> we learn something new every day. Very got a new update every day. Oh, Dennis. Please, oh please, oh please, you are hearing us right now with the redesigning of roller coasters. Please, may thy wing coaster be next. Please. Amen. Anyways, so of course what we're going to do is we want to make this exactly the same. Okay, so we'll go along like this and round about here. Beautiful. And then two stations, that. Two stations more, that. And put that on. And then now we go up. One thing that is a little bit different about this one already is that there's no netting on the side of it, or whatever you call it. I feel like that's already way taller. Okay, we'll go down one more. Yeah, that's fine. And then go around like this. What we should do is take the chain lift off. Do we, don't, do we need that anymore? Did I put it over there? I'm getting paranoid. Uh. No, we didn't. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, that's fine. Block breaks. I feel like that's already much better. I feel like that's a lot more vertical than the other one already. Maybe around about there. I feel like it's always so different when I build it or, or on the other side because I don't know why. I just feel like I put loads more time and effort into the new one. Which is surely a good thing because uh, the odd one sucks. And now what we will do is that, 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 and go down again. And then what we will do now is 
include some banking of course we need the banking beautiful i feel like it's already too much banking so calm it down a little it's not gonna be that steep now silly me that's better and oh now it works thank you dennis okay i need to i need to go back <laughs> beautiful now we've pretty much got the same layout pretty much so of course we're gonna make this one green Ooh, that's new see this is the first like a blind reaction pretty much the new update because i have not actually played it with the new update so i'm like oh it's fancy that's so cool that's actually pretty nice pretty cute sexy so you make it green of course only where it's red there's more red there we go and over here the smelly old dive coaster beautiful but okay before the POVs, of course, let's have a little bit of a comparison, obviously. So, as you can obviously tell, there is a lot more detail on the one on the right-hand side, which, of course, is the new beautiful dive coaster. Uh, you can see the track as well. It's a lot more realistic, a lot more chunky as well. It's like the single rail. I know people, when they did the old dive coaster, they did, like, a single rail over the bottom of it. Like, it's basically is here. And I can really, I'm really happy that he actually managed to um, create it a lot more realistic. And uh, very little detail as well, you can see that there. So if it was like different colours, like if that bit was a different colour, and the actual coaster itself was a different colour, it wouldn't actually have the stupid glitching effect. Which I think is really, really cool to be fair, because I have noticed that in the past with some old coasters. So I'm actually quite happy. I am content. Especially with the station as well. The station stairs are a lot higher. I think that's just to uh, get to the slightly higher track because as you can see that one's not really that high whereas this one is just a little bit higher so I think it's really cool that you've got extra steps to get to the train. Yeah as you can see here I don't know what Dennis was thinking and how that would be possible. Silly Dennis. But yeah it's a lot better definitely over here it is so much better and I did not expect it to be that good. Of course we were all hoping and praying and begging pretty much for a new redesigned uh, dive coaster, so I am very happy. I'm very happy. Those restraints though, bloody hell. But of course, I'm going to leave you guys now with a POV of both rides together, as per usual. If you are watching and you haven't left a like, I'd really appreciate it if you could leave a like. Also, check out that subscribe button. It's a lot better when it's grey. All I'm saying. Please remember to subscribe as well, that'd be absolutely amazing. And without further ado, enjoy the difference.